It is official. I am moving out of this apartment. I know some of y'all read this title like, baby, what is going on? But hold your horses, we finna get into tea, okay? What's up, cousins? Welcome, welcome back to another vlog. And if you're new here, my name is Kay, or KK, which I went for if you're returning. What's up, cousin? What is it? What is it? What is it? What's up, y'all? So, baby, as y'all reading by this title, this is going to be a moving vlog episode one. Yes, yes, yes. We are moving out of my luxury apartment. This is not clickbait. Okay, so I did want to let you guys know if you're new here or like if this is your first time ever seeing my face, go ahead and click subscribe because baby, you're gonna live here. But if you guys did not tune into my last video, which I think no, it wasn't my last video because that was figure I like that in my 20s, I think. The video before last, which was my Sunday reset, which I was like a moving life update, something like that. But if you tuned into that vlog, then this is no surprise. You know, let's put this phone on D and D, baby. Because one thing about it, when we in that mode, we don't need no interruptions. Okay. In today's vlog, you guys, it is going to be a weekly vlog, but it's also going to be moving vlog episode one. So in this vlog, you guys, I don't really know everything that it's gonna consist of, but what I do know is we're gonna go ahead and start preparing to basically move out of our apartment, you guys. So if you are new and you're not up to speed, I would say go watch my Sunday reset video and then come back and click on this one and you'll kind of know what's going on. But to break it down and simplify it so we're not running in circles, long story short, you guys, I have just been in a mode of just bettering myself in every aspect of my life, not only mentally, physically, emotionally, health-wise, but also financially. And so I just figured the monthly that I pay for this apartment is outrageous. If I was to tell y'all, y'all would be like, girl, why is you being that? But with that being said, you guys, I am moving into another apartment that is going to have a cheaper monthly because your girl is looking for something where I can pay my monthly bills and also be able to pay off debt, you guys, because that's like one of my main goals is to start paying off a lot of my debt and to basically just start traveling and doing a lot of stuff that I want to do. And being in this apartment is not getting me any closer to it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we are preparing to move, you guys. So, yeah, in this vlog, we're basically going to be out with the old and with the new. So, we're going to be getting rid of some stuff, throwing some stuff away that I kind of don't want to bring into the new place. And also, you guys, I am selling my coffee table now. If you've been here for a minute, then you know this coffee table in my living room. I've never really been like the hugest fan of it. So, I am going to get rid of it because I just don't see no point in packing it up, taking it with me when I really don't like it. Just because I don't like the way that it fits around my couch. Because my couch is like a huge sectional. Let me show y'all. Excuse everything that's on it. But it's a huge sectional. So, like the square table, it just doesn't, you know, it don't do it for me. Okay, so we're going to be taking some pictures of that some point in between time during this vlog and I'm gonna post it on Facebook Marketplace because that's typically where your girls sell everything, okay? But yeah, so we're going to be out with the old and with the new, getting rid of some stuff and then I need to go to U-Haul and get some boxes because we gotta start picking shit up, okay? So just stuff that I know I'm not going to be using while I'm in this apartment, I am going to be packing it up. I need to run by the bank. What else do we need to do? I don't know. Let me look at my to-do list because I did make a to-do list. We are going to be completing to-do list, y'all, every day. Okay. Oh, and then I need to do two collabs, which I don't know if I'll show you guys in this vlog because, like I said, this is going to be a weekly vlog, but it is also going to be a moving series. But I did want to get on here and talk about this. So, I know one of the cousins, cousin Naya, you had asked me, like, is it a big difference between these two? And honestly, not gonna lie, y'all, I use this to slick my hair back. If you don't know what this is, it's a gorilla snot, okay? One of the best things you can use to slick your hair back. No, I'm not getting paid to say that because I live by that, okay? Like, when I did my half up, half down, that's what I slick my hair back with. But I don't have any of this left, so I did end up using this one. But I was getting on here to say that I don't see a huge difference in the gels. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they work the same. If not, I feel like this one works better just because it's the OG and original. But honestly, I feel like they work the same. Like, I know this one say beast hole, but it really holds the same way that this one holds, not gonna lie. So what I did was use my little thinking cap, use my little thinking brain, 
And I was like, well, let me look at the ingredients to see if they're exactly the same or not, see if I'm tripping. So literally, y'all, the ingredients on these are exactly the same. If you think I'm lying, screenshot and zoom in and see for yourself. But these ingredients are exactly the same. The only ingredient that's different from these two is an ingredient called citron citronello it's like c-i-t-r-o-n-e-l-l-o-l -L -L. that's the only ingredient that's different that's in this one that's not in this one and when i googled it because baby i know i googled it so when i googled it it said something about like it's an essential oil so yeah but I, I don't really see no difference. I definitely believe that essential oils in these because my hair don't be dried out when I lay it down with this. Y'all know some some gels you use that you lay your hair down with, it just dry your hair out. You know what I'm saying? But that don't dry my hair out. So, yeah. But, anywho, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this vlog and everything that we're doing today. So, your girl's going to start by going to the bank. It's the first thing I need to do. And then we're going to go pick some boxes up. And we're just going to, you know, get into the day from there. And also, y'all, I've been trying to try, like, new little hairstyles with my hair because... I feel like with my natural hair, I only do like a slick back or I wear it down curly. And if I wear it down curly, it's only for like a day. <laughs> so really like my hair has been like this for probably like three days, which is crazy for me. Cause baby, after like the second day, maybe it's time to slick her back or wash her. Okay. So the fact that baby third day and we're still styling, it's like, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so I am trying to get like more into styling my natural hair, getting into more natural styles. When it comes to my curly hair and my straight hair, but y'all know I don't really straighten my hair like that. I probably will straighten more these upcoming seasons because typically that's around the time when I do straighten my hair is around like fall or winter time because baby in the summertime, it's too hot. Unless I'm getting like a bob in the summertime or something. But anywho, child, let's get ready to go. So I'm gonna go by the bank first because I need to deposit some cash. And then, well, I guess I don't need to deposit all the cash because y'all know I am doing my savings challenge. Child, let's just see how we get to rent the air and stuff. Okay. p.m. like it's legit eight o'clock okay let me just keep it real tea with y'all i ended up leaving i'm gonna show y'all what i got from home depot i think y'all pretty much seen so i did film while i was at home depot but i ended up going to home depot or whatever i got three small boxes and i got three medium boxes and then i got some stuff in there that i'm about to show y'all but y'all why was i sitting in the car and on my youtube i don't know why this came on my for you page but baby it grabbed my attention so i started watching it and basically this is so this is so TMI, but, and it's not funny, but it was this girl that was talking about, like, her prostitute life and stuff like that. I don't know, like, I don't be having no interest in stuff like that, like, not me wanting to do it, but it just be interesting to watch, if that makes sense. I don't know maybe it's just me let me know in the comments if y'all feel that same way too but y'all i don't know what has been going on but like i have just not been having no energy for real and i really don't know why like it seems like the last past couple of days i just have not been productive as i typically am i come home i fall asleep on the couch first of all like i don't even be going to go get in my bed and it's like girl you got this bed that you just but you just steady falling asleep on the couch so i come home and like fall asleep on the couch and I get up, like, I won't even sleep that long, probably like an hour, two hours, which is long to somebody, but other people can sleep for like hours on at a time. So I don't be sleeping for that long, but I don't know if it's that, like, my schedule is messed up. Y'all don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. And y'all know I've been taking the supplements. I'm not gonna go grab them, but y'all know the supplement. Well, let me go grab them because I know I got some new people. I get new people every vlog, babe. So don't do that. But y'all know I've been taking these super multivitamins. And they cool. I mean, I don't I don't know if they've been helping or not, honestly. But I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all be doing for y'all energy. Like, are y'all coffee people? 
Do y'all drink a certain kind of tea? Do y'all take a certain kind of vitamins that really help? Like, I'm talking about you feel a difference. It's kind of like y'all know, like, which it probably ain't gonna be this strong, but you know, like, when you take pre workout, you can tell the difference between taking pre workout and not taking pre workout. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let me know what y'all be doing and what y'all be using. Because right now, your girl is struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling, baby. I'm just now finna start packing stuff up and it's 8 p.m. Like, girl, we went out at 11 a.m. this morning. What's really tea? Okay. But yeah, you guys, so let me know. And then I, I also wanted to ask y'all, so do anybody take the like chlorophyll, my fantasy box pills? I've been seeing them just all over TikTok. And I just want to know like, how y'all feel about them? Like what y'all think? Hold on, let me go see. I don't even know what the name of them is called, but they in my TikTok cart. How I get to my cart? Okay, boom, here, here we go. <laughs> I got so much stuff in my car, y'all. I got snail mucin toner that I was <laughs> finna get, but I ain't got it yet. I got hair on here. I got some everything on here. Oh my gosh, it was the lip liner I had on here, and it sold out. But y'all know, it's so many brands that sell the same stuff on TikTok. Okay, here they go. It's Body Magic. It's her fantasy box. Let me know if y'all have tried this and what y'all think. Because honestly, I got it. Let me tell y'all why I got it. It say that it removes all body odor, which I don't have like body odor problems or issues. But the reason why I got it was because I used to take chlorophyll like back in the day. And honestly, y'all, I'm such a pill type of girl. And I think that's why it was hard for me to stay consistent with this. I think, I, I don't know if it's good or not, y'all. Like I said, I don't, like me, I be physically wanting to see like, okay, I got no energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I physically want to see my nails grow or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I be liking, I be liking to see the results. And when I don't like physically see the results, I get in my brain and get to thinking that it don't work. Okay. So, yeah, but what sparked my eye about that is the fact that it's chlorophyll. And I know chlorophyll is real, real good for you. And I just know when I was drinking chlorophyll, it's probably like two years ago. Two, almost three years ago. But anywho, when I was drinking chlorophyll, like, y'all, <laughs> bowel movements was in there. <laughs> like, that's probably TMI, but y'all, I was going to the restroom like very, very consecutive. Like my body was just very, very cleansed and I could tell. That's what I mean when I say taking certain things, I want to be able to see like the, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to physically see the changes and I could tell it was cleansing my body. Just the same thing as kombucha, I can literally tell it cleanses my body. You know what I'm saying? So that's like the type of results that I like to see. But anywho, I just wanted to see, have y'all ever tried that before? If y'all have, let me know what y'all think and what y'all thought to it. Okay? <laughs> because it's only $13.99. And how many is it in a pack? Oh, it's 30 cap capsules in a pack. And I heard that you're supposed to take two per day for the first week. And then after that, one per day. But the bottles say one per day. But you know, folks on TikTok get to making up their own, um, you know, rules and regulations. So, <laughs> I don't know. Just let me know if y'all tried it or, yeah. If you ain't tried it, baby, you know tea. Okay. I need the folks that didn't try it. Or if it's something else, like another supplement or something that you take that's got like chlorophyll in it. I know chlorophyll is good for energy. I know it's good for just cleansing your body out as a whole. But if y'all take anything like similar to that or anything, just, just let me know, okay? Because I'm struggling right now, okay? <laughs> but y'all, when I went to U-Haul, I was about to say Home Depot. I, I'm not a Home Depot kind of girl. I just feel like U-Haul, you get it for half the price, maybe a fraction of the cost, you know? But I had got some bubble wrap. I really don't know why I got this bubble wrap. Because I don't really have like nothing that like just need, need to be bubble wrapped for me to like get this big thing. I got like glassware and stuff, but I was really planning on wrapping all that and like with like newspapers and stuff. Not gonna yay. <laughs> Definitely was planning on that. I think I'ma just maybe like I don't wanna individually bubble wrap everything, but maybe I'll like y'all know how like people will take their glasses and they'll like put something on the inside and stack them. I think I may do it that way and kind of like stack two or three at a time. Not too many because I don't need them. Right. And then kind of like wrap it, wrap like the last one individually. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but basically I'm going to do it to like where the glasses touch the bubble wrap and not each other. You know, so they're not like going to be easily broken, you know. So I think I'm going to do that. I mean, honestly, I'm going to just go ahead and start packing stuff that I know I'm not going to be using because guys, it is official. I am moving out of this apartment. Okay. I don't even think I like told y'all that it was official, but you girl's officially moving out okay so yeah that's t2 then you guys i what was i about to say oh i got this but i don't know i'm holding this tape up but i'm thinking about something else y'all y'all know how to bring be working but i got this box uh packaging tape so i'm just take my boxes up with this because this is a lot easier 
to like open and you know it's a better process than using that clear tape it's just you have to do too much with the clear tape this tape you can kind of open it with your hands if you could if you get my gist you get my gist but yeah that's all i got as far as like bag wise but i do want to go back and get some more stuff but i'm gonna go back like closer i forgot i didn't go back and get more stuff like closer to me moving like i know one of the things that i'm gonna get is like a mattress protector y'all know like the little clear thing that you put on your mattress to kind of protect your mattress from like dirt and stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna go and get one again do you love me mm -hmm. Mm. I've been on TikTok too much, y'all. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been a TikTok really as much as I have like this month. <laughs> like I've been on TikTok extra, you know, <laughs> like too much. Oh yeah, before I start packing, y'all, I am about to go ahead and do this voiceover for this brand. I still haven't done that. Like y'all, when I tell y'all, I literally came home. I what did I do when I got here? Oh, matter of fact, I left U-Haul when it got so what, y'all. First of all, my discipline is just like crazy right now because how about i went to subway and got a sandwich right got a sandwich got chips right leave subway i go to mcdonald's just to get a large fry girl do y'all be having some type of cravings like girl why you know what i'm saying like what is it you know but i haven't craving mcdonald's fries for like a little minute i don't eat mcdonald's but i will tear up they fries a large to be exact okay and let me get a power rate of some honey mustard okay clock that pin that okay Cause I'm a happy, <laughs> I'm a happy. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. And then my editor did send me another video over baby. She be eating down like, she get the videos done. So y'all been seeing me be real consistent. Just know it's because of Ameris, okay? Cause she eats down, okay? <laughs> she been getting the content done. <laughs> she been getting the content done. Shout out, ooh. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, I meant to do this. Shout out to you, baby. Snap it up for my girl. Okay, she gets the content done. Thankfully, it's not in my hands no more. I don't have to worry about it. Okay, because she gonna eat it up. Let me go ahead and get that done. And then I'll just catch y'all like a little montage of like me packing and stuff. And then y'all, I got these bar stools right here and I just really don't know what to do with them. I don't know if I want to put them in storage or just wait. Because I've already decided that I'm just gonna get a U-Haul when I move you guys. Because I got so much big stuff. I think I'm gonna just hire a mover and then get a U-Haul. Because it'll be cheaper getting, because y'all know one thing your girl loves is a good barking. Okay, so I think for me, it'll be cheaper to just get a U-Haul, pack like all my stuff up in the U-Haul, because y'all know I got a huge couch, you get what I'm saying? And I have a huge bed, and I have like other, you know, pieces and stuff that I have to pack up. So it's just like with me packing everything, my TV and everything, I just feel like getting a U-Haul would probably be the best decision, you know? Because I could hire somebody with like a truck, but then it's like, is it guaranteed that, you know, all that stuff going to be able to fit in a you know, anywho, child, I'll catch y'all when we start getting some stuff together. I'm about to make this voice up real quick. And now I was actually supposed to film another video. Oh my gosh. I got too much to do my chat. Ah. this how about i'm getting ready to do these glasses and put these glasses up just to realize i can't even use bubble wrap y'all like that don't even first of all the glasses don't fit how i thought they was gonna fit i thought they was gonna be more so like go further down but the fact that they only go right here like there's no point in me using bubble wrap and i'm trying to think how oh i'm trying to think how could i bubble wrap these maybe i could layer them y'all what i just thought of a crazy idea okay tell me if this makes sense to y'all bruh i could have literally did this the whole time i could have did this the whole time okay y'all so i'm thinking about layer them like this okay let me show y'all can y'all see inside the box hold on let me flip hold on let me flip the camera so y'all can see hold on okay y'all see how i got them like that so 
Let me tell y'all what your girl is thinking. So I'm thinking that I could just layer them like that and then do the bubble wrap in and out if that makes sense. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Like one piece of bubble wrap on, okay, have like a line. Okay, excuse this, but have like a line of bubble wrap and one on top, one under, one on top, one under. Does that make sense? And then like layer another level of bubble wrap on top and do that to the glasses top and dumping the glasses up. Because I'm literally sitting here thinking and I'm just like, okay, I bought this whole roll of bubble wrap. Like, yes, I could. And I'm really trying to think, okay, what can I use the bubble wrap for? And I mean, granted, I could probably use it for like my TVs. I could, but mm, I don't. I, I honestly don't think I have enough because mind y'all, like this is not a lot of bubble wrap. This is probably enough bubble wrap to just do like glassware. You know what I'm saying? And then my TV is 65 inches, so what is what is she gonna do? You know? So that's what I'm sitting here thinking about. But what I just thought, like I literally just thought about that. So I'm about to try that, and then I'm gonna let y'all know how I go because I'm about to say, baby, we're gonna have to move on to something else. We're gonna have to move on to the pots and pans, something because I was thinking, I was like, man, I really wish I had some newspaper. Which I am going to mom's house Thursday or Friday. I forgot because my brother's coming in town, so I'm going to her house to like see him, and we just gonna, you know, have like a family day and stuff. But yeah, so I'm like, okay, well, I could definitely get some newspaper from her house when I go over there, and then come back home and finish packing. But I'm like. What am I gonna start on right now? Cause I had my mind start on this. So I'm gonna see if this work out. If it don't, I'm just go ahead and start on the pots and pans, y'all, because I'm not meal prepping anymore in this apartment, you guys. I'm like, it's so crazy, y'all, because I'm excited, but it's also like bittersweet at the same time, if that makes sense. Like, I'm excited because we started a new journey, but also it's like bittersweet because it's like, I'm gonna kind of miss this whole place, you know? Like, I'm gonna miss this. Like, this is where I gained most of y'all. Most of y'all came from me moving into this apartment. So it's just like, I don't know, child. I don't know. Don't make me cry. <laughs> don't make me cry. But yeah, I'm about to try this and see if this works, y'all. And the only reason why I'm not meal prepping no more is because I'm supposed to be gone by, what's today? Because I already talked to my leasing office. Let me tell you guys the timeline. I already talked to like my leasing office and everything. So I'm supposed to be gone within the end of next week or the week after. I gotta look at the email, but either next week or the week after, cause they sent me like, you know, everything in writing, you know, to sign off or whatever. So yeah, because I think they're trying to, which is not, it's not a problem for me because I say my apartment is not ready for that time. I can always stay with my mom and to that time, or I can always get an Airbnb or get a hotel. You know what I'm saying? Like no issue. So I'm just trying to decide if, what's I about to say? Oh, that's all I'm about to say. I think they're going to try to lease this apartment out by like the beginning of September. So, yeah, let, let me see if this works, y'all. But I think they're going to try to lease this apartment out by the beginning of September, which is, like, you know, not a problem, not an issue to me, for me. You know, because I can easily, oh, my gosh, y'all, I think this is going to work. I don't know if it's a smart idea, though, because I don't want the glass to be clinking, if that makes sense. I'm just going to have to be hella careful with this, with this vibe. I need to make sure I write glass where I'm here. Okay, massage time. What's up cousins? Y'all. 
I'm on the phone with my auntie, my grandma, and my mama, y'all. And baby, that is funny. But y'all, I'm literally packing everything. Well, baby, I'm just now touching the surface. Getting stuff packed up. But this is everything that your girl got packed so far, y'all. I... Like, it's all the way. I should have shown y'all earlier, but this is what I got packed so far. This is basically all the dishes. These are the only dishes that I have left to pack up. And then I got these left. Let me see. I don't think I got nothing else in here yet. This empty. I'm going to do that later, y'all. So, don't worry about that. And then this is empty. And then I got some dishes in here. But I think these dishes that I'm going to use for, like, the next couple of days while I'm still here. I may put these up, too. I haven't decided yet. It just depends. Because, honestly, y'all, I think I'm going to go ahead and put, like, my pots and pans and stuff up. And probably going to open a storage tomorrow so I can go ahead and start putting stuff up. That way, I don't have to put everything up at the last minute. I think I'm going to go ahead and start putting stuff up in my storage. Because, like I told y'all, I'm not going to be cooking the remainder of the time that I'm probably in this apartment so i'm probably going to pack my pots and pans and stuff like that up so yeah i'm about to go ahead and box this tape this box up i just wanted to show y'all before i tape it up but i'm gonna go ahead and tape this up and then i'm gonna go ahead and try to finish clearing the kitchen out and then i don't really have too much to do in the living room because it's mostly like big stuff y'all know it's just my tv my coffee table that i still have to take pictures of and try to sell and my sofa but in the closet i could definitely get some stuff packed and once again in the bedroom i don't have that much to pack because y'all know i don't have a dresser and stuff like that so it's just literally my bed but the closet in the kitchen is where i'm gonna make the most progress and then I'm probably gonna hit the bathroom, clear out the laundry stuff, and then just do like little miscellaneous stuff that's like in drawers and then, you know, get the big stuff. So, yeah, child, let's go ahead and box this up. And yeah. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell them dim the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, uh, and I know you taste this a little bit, mmm, high maintenance, uh, everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice, poetic justice, if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it, I mean I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy, it's blood in my pen, better yet for your friends and them. I really wanna know you all, I really wanna show you off Fuck that, pour up plenty of champagne Cold nights when you curse this name You called up your girlfriends and y'all curled in that little bitty range I heard that she wanna go and party She wanna go and party Nigga don't approach her with that Atari Nigga that ain't good game home is sorry They say conversation, rule a nation I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs Lest I write it down for real P.S. I really hope you play this, cause oh girl, you test my patience with all these seductive photographs and all these one-off vacations you've been taking. Clearly a lot for me to take in, it don't make sense. Young East African girl, you too busy fucking with your other man. I was trying to put you on game, put you on a plane, take you and your mama to the motherland. I could do it, maybe one day, when you figure out you're gonna need someone. When you figure out it's all right here in the city and you don't run from where we come from. That sound like poetic justice, poetic justice. You were so new to this life, but goddamn, you got adjusted. I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to the fun sex. Your natural hair and your soft skin and your big ass and that sundress. Ooh. Good God, what you doing that walk for? When I see that they move, I just wish we would fight less and we would talk more. They say communication, save relations, I can tell. But I can never write my wrongs unless I write them down for real. P.S. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it.
I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Mm. And I know you taste this a little bit. Mm, high maintenance. Mm. Everybody else basic. You live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice. Poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you and you're in the mood for. What's up, cousins? What do you do? Cause what do I get for my birthday? Okay, what you gonna do for Big Mama for real? What do I get for my birthday? Ooh, y'all, that song is like my head. Okay, but y'all, I got on the cam because baby, I haven't been on the cam in a hollow minute. I've been giving y'all little sneak peeks and little clips and stuff of me packing. I really been in like a little lazy funk. Not gonna lie. And I haven't been wanting to do anything knowing I need to do everything right now. But I haven't been doing anything because I don't know y'all just been in this little funk. But I've been trying to like shake myself up out of it honestly. But y'all have gotten a lot done so far. So I'm about to give y'all like a little view. Which y'all have seen me like taking stuff out of cabinets and stuff like that baby. And yeah this is moving. We're moving like super fast y'all. But this is everything that your girl got laying out. So those are just dishes that I need to put up that are clean. Dishes in the sink that need to be washed. But it's not really no dishes. You know what I'm saying? You know you can have a Pull in the sink and your mom be like cleaning dishes you know but yeah it ain't no dishes in there for real just a little bit so yeah and then i got silverware stuff up here y'all know i got my wines and oil i just got stuff like all this stuff needs to be put up you know and then i also got stuff on the island that needs to be put up okay so i think my address i think my address was showing on there but i really don't care because by the time y'all seen this i'm not gonna be in this apartment no more anyways yeah but anywho child so yeah i got stuff on my island and i got stuff back here that needs to be put up everything is out of all the cabinets except the pantry i still have stuff in the in the pantry but y'all know i haven't went grocery shopping or anything so i really don't have much in the pantry that's literally all i have and then of course y'all know i got the stuff that's in like the fridge and stuff that i'll end up getting last you know but yeah so that's everything y'all but i'm not putting no more stuff up that's in the kitchen i'm gonna come back to the kitchen last these are all the boxes that i have packed so far so this is like a kitchen box but i haven't closed it yet because i feel like i'm gonna still put like little miscellaneous stuff in there and then i got i think this is a kitchen box this is a kitchen box this is the only place i started y'all and then he's got paper towels in here and then these are this one's actually a brand collab and y'all know these are my bar stools at the bottom, so Ciao. we got a lot packed up over there. But I think tomorrow, y'all, in the morning when I get up, I'm gonna go and get a U-Haul. Go ahead and start moving everything. And then I gotta contact these apartments also. So yeah, and that's basically gonna tell me like if I need to put my stuff in a storage for now or if I can go ahead and move it in versus if I get the U-Haul and take it straight to the apartment or if I end up putting stuff in storage until the apartment is ready, you know? So yeah, that's pretty much the update for the kitchen. And then y'all know it ain't much in the living room but big stuff. And then in the bedroom, I guess I'll start taking the bed down. I don't know, maybe tonight, maybe in the morning. I don't know. But we are about to get into this closet, you guys. But I think I'm going to wait to do the closet because I'm about to go to my job real quick and pick up my check because y'all my job tried to send me my money through Zelle as like they normally do but my Zelle was saying that they weren't able to like receive the money that my job sent so call my job call my bank my bank was saying it was a general malfunction that was going on and the guy at my job who like cut the checks or whatever he was like to just come get a check and we'll resume doing Zelle next week so I was like that's cool so I gotta go up there and get my check because he told me to come today I think after six or something like that so it's already past six so I'm gonna go up there and get that real quick because I'm not sure how long he gonna be up there so I'm gonna go ahead and get that and then we're gonna come back and tackle this closet you guys Which the closet is gonna be really easy because I don't really need boxes to do the closet I'm more so using my boxes to do the bathroom because the closet clothes I'm just gonna put in my duffel bag and my suitcase and then these other clothes y'all know the clothes is on the hangers I'm just maybe gonna put a bag over them <laughs> because who's folding all these clothes up taking them off hangers <laughs> Not a big dog <laughs> Let's start there okay so yeah and then i forgot i got that stuff back there okay yeah so we're gonna get into that in a little bit y'all but i am about to go run up here real quick so i'll just see y'all when you're gonna get back to the house Mwah! toodles oh baby that's too zoomed in okay there we go y'all excuse all the patches hold on let me make sure y'all clean okay excuse all the patches on my face yeah we gotta get it together okay we gotta get her together but y'all i'm in the closet and your girl's about to do some packing i'm only gonna be packing stuff up for an hour it's currently 9 21 
as y'all can see if you new here then you don't know this but i keep my phone in military time okay don't ask me why just know that's just what i do okay but i am about to go ahead and start packing some stuff up y'all but i'm gonna start packing like this so y'all see like this thing i'm gonna start packing this stuff up because honestly everything else is gonna be pretty easy to pack and then too i kind of have to like coordinate stuff because the stuff that i'm not gonna be wearing while i'm still in this apartment i'm gonna pack up but the stuff that i potentially could be wearing i'm gonna leave out you know what i'm saying and then i'm gonna also pack like bras and i don't know if i'm gonna pack my workout clothes up good y'all know your girl been in the gym i don't know or maybe i will pack them up and just keep them in a bag where i can just reach out of and basically like put clothes on out of because i kind of want to get everything packed up in the closet so okay let's get to it because baby talking ain't gonna get us there let me get my step oh where my steps still away okay i guess we climbing i guess we climbing up here y'all oh did that hit y'all oh no Oh, y'all that hurt my toe. Okay. Oh, y'all, my toe. <laughs> my toe, my toe, my toe. Is this stuff in here? Oh, y'all, my toe is screaming for dear life. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Okay. So, let me scoot that out the way. I'm going to go ahead and start with my sunglasses, you guys. Because y'all know, baby, I got so many of them. Y'all, it's crazy because, bruh, let me show y'all. It's literally crazy because I got so many sunglasses that I have to label them by colors. Like, these are all the orange and brown sunglasses. And, well, no, that's orange. I got another bag for brown, I think. These are my pink ones. These are green. If you've been here for a minute, then you already know this. But if you new here, you don't quite know all this. But, yeah, I got some in here that's not even in a, in a bag because sometimes I'll wear them or won't put them in a bag. These black, but as y'all can see, it's red in here because I just, yeah. Oh, these are the brown ones, but it's not all brown. Like this bag, these bags didn't got mixed up, y'all, so much. I tell y'all, bro, I got so many freaking hookah tips in my house for my job. Baby, so many. Like, what, girl? And the reason why I got to be in the bed at a timely manner, y'all, is because I do want to get up early enough in the morning. That way, I can go and pick up a U-Haul tomorrow because that is on the to-do list for tomorrow. Go get a U-Haul. And then also, I want to go ahead and start, like, taking my bed apart, kind of, you know? Well, no, my bed probably going to be the last thing that I take apart. But I do need to start, like, packing my couch and just put my big stuff in the U-Haul to potentially put in a storage and stuff like that, so... y'all i got a little emotional this morning so as y'all can see it's 2 40 a.m okay because i don't know if i really told you guys or went into detail with y'all but i have been ubering lately because y'all know i'm trying to i'm in between like trying to transition jobs so with that being said i've been actually liking ubering so that's something that i picked up as like 
I ain't gonna say a hobby, but I picked up as like a little side hustle, you know? But what I was about to get on here and say, y'all, I have one of my cousins, okay? If you watching this cousin, you know exactly who you are. I'm not gonna disclose you, but I had one of my cousins send me, I'm gonna block her name out. I had her send me like two paragraphs right i'm not gonna keep it on there long because yeah but i had her send me two paragraphs at 12 this morning y'all and y'all know me if you know me then you know that one thing about Kay, she responds to her dms she responds to when y'all reply to my story like i ain't gonna say i would never be one of them youtubers to never respond to you guys oh we i'm getting emotional talking about this i'm not gonna say i would never be one of them youtubers to subs to respond to you guys because god forbid how many people that he's gonna place on my path and put on my channel you know and it may become so many of you guys to the point where it's overwhelming to respond you know where i literally can't respond to everybody but i always try to respond to who i can whenever i can and it does not matter if y'all dm me if y'all comment on the video however y'all message me like most of y'all know most of y'all did dm me before and have i responded I need y'all answer that for y'all feel, okay? But no, on a serious note, you guys, she sent me two long paragraphs just telling me how I impacted her life. And when I tell y'all, it just gave me the, oh my God, it's supposed to be a movie blog, girl, y'all hear me, go shut up. But you guys, it just really like, I almost had like a breakdown, like I almost started crying this morning when I was reading that message, like, I'm being funny and keep them crying, but like on a serious note, you guys, I almost started crying this morning reading her message because y'all don't understand, like, that's what I do it for. That's the fulfillment in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm just a girl who picking up her camera. Of course, when you get so far along, you start making money off of it, and it can ultimately be your main stream of income where you don't have to go clock into somebody's job. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are the perks and the pros of it, but the real fulfillment is impacting you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to show y'all that if KK can do it, why can't you? You can do it too. You get what I'm saying? If I can overcome certain things in life, you can overcome certain things in life too. And some of y'all may know bits and pieces about my life or certain things I've been through just because I've disclosed certain things on live. Or if you may know me personally, you get what I'm saying? But I have been through so much and currently I'm going through a lot. You get what I'm saying? But I just want y'all to know that if I can do it, baby, I promise you can do it too. And I remember she was one of the people that, it's crazy because I literally remember her for bottom. I don't know. I said that word right, but <laughs> she was one of the people that bought both of my ebooks. Well, no, I don't think she bought both of them. She bought one of my ebooks, and we ended up getting on a Zoom call. And I remember the conversation so vividly. And I remember at the end of the conversation, I told her, you know what I'm saying? Cause she had been through a lot. And so I remember at the end of the conversation, just telling her, like, don't be afraid to reach out to me you know what i'm saying like do not be afraid to reach out to me whenever you feel the need to reach out and it's not and i'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't really look at it like when y'all reach out to me whether it's telling me how i impacted y'all life or whether y'all may look at it as trauma dumping whatever it is i don't necessarily oh yeah that's my 245 alarm going off <laughs> Like I was saying, you guys, I don't necessarily look at it as trauma dumping because that's what feeds me. That's what fuels me. And I don't know if that's like one of my ultimate purposes in life or whatever, but that's something that fuels me. Being able to know that somebody else is better off because of you, whether it was because of your words of encouragement, whether it was because of a phone call, whether it was, it was because of video, like whatever it is, the fact that somebody else is doing better in life or doing something they dreamed of or stepping outside that comfort zone just because of KK. Like that is the ultimate fulfillment for me. So I get like so giddy and so excited when you guys DM me. Wow, I'm just, I'm, I'm so in awe right now, you guys, because I am just so grateful. Like not only am I grateful for this platform that I have, but in the platform that I've grew, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm grateful for you guys. I'm grateful for each and every one of you, bro. Like I'm grateful for all y'all, everybody who watches my video. And I know this is a moving blog. This is technically my first moving blog. So I know it's going to be a lot of new faces. You know what I'm saying? They probably ain't never seen my face before, but but just know one thing I always try to push out my videos to you guys and I don't know if y'all feel it through the camera or not because I do understand this is the internet you know but one thing that I always try to push out to you guys is me being optimistic and my true like my true character you know what I'm saying like I'm not perfect by all means but I always try to give you guys my genuine true character like I'm gonna give y'all Kate every time you know I'm not gonna try to give y'all nobody else I'm not gonna try to make something seem like I'm not going to try to make something seem like 
is something that it's not. You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all are following me along the process of moving out of my luxury apartment. You get what I'm saying? To moving into something that is more affordable for me right now. Like, and there's nothing wrong with that, you guys. So it's just like, I want y'all to feel the genuineness through the screen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want y'all to actually feel my character through the screen and not just think it's some facade or, oh, she's just a typical YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to give y'all the energy. I want to break y'all through my journey. I want y'all to understand if KK got through it, if KK is getting through it, why can't I? You know what I'm saying? You just have to continue getting up every day, no matter how hard it feels, no matter how hard it seems. You have to keep getting up every day and getting it done. You have to keep getting up every day and getting it done. You have to. And it's just like, with doing that, you also have to have balance you guys like don't run yourself ragged you, really, you know what i'm saying but it's just like have balance and this is probably like cliche or probably you know don't really apply to this situation but y'all know i told y'all last night that i was gonna be done packing up my closet at 10 30. i stood on business baby at 10 30 i came and got in the bed because as much as i wanted to continue to stay up packing my stuff because i'm excited for the thrill and you know i just want to get everything packed up right now i did it you know what i'm saying because i knew i was gonna be getting back up at two almost three o'clock to get up in uber you get what i'm saying like i just want y'all to know that you know oh and something else that was on my heart you guys don't ever be afraid to lose who you are for who you're becoming you know what i'm saying whether that's people whether that's a job whether that's money whether it's fame fortune whatever it is don't be afraid to lose the person that you currently are for the person that you are becoming you get what i'm saying like try it out anyway and a lot of people gonna say oh well that's too risky that baby you got risky the moment you was born into this world <laughs> let me tell you how risky it is <laughs> we're not gonna make it out alive <laughs> you might as well do what you want to do anyway you get what I'm saying? And I'm saying all that to say, you guys, because it has really been laying on my heart. And this is just me, like, being vulnerable and transparent with you guys. It has been on my heart to get out of the serving industry. Not necessarily the food industry, but out of the serving industry. I just, I used to have a love for serving because y'all know I'm very outgoing, so I love to talk to people. And they used to help me thrive. You get what I'm saying? Like, they used to be my motivation. And, you know, that's why I used to love serving. But over, like, the past few months, you guys, it's just become so draining to serve, especially, like, places where majority men come because it's just, like, they either want something out of you, they want a date, they want your number, they want this, they want that, just for them to tip you good. And it's just like, bruh, I'm not trying to sell myself just for money. And I'll never just sell myself for a bag. Never. You get what I'm saying? If it don't truly align with me and who I am, oh, you forget about the money. I'll go back to the 9 to 5. You get what I'm saying? Or I'll find something else to do in life, but I'm not going to. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't thrill me just doing it for the money. So, it has to be some other type of fulfillment in it for me. And I think that's why it was so hard for me to work a regular job because I, I have me as a human being. Matter of fact, I don't even want to make this a me thing. Us, human beings, it's our nature to have fulfillment in something. That's why it's all, That's why you always hear people talking about, well, do something that you're passionate about because you want to do something that you thrive off of. You don't just want to do it to make money because it's not going to last or you're going to be drained or you're going to be miserable doing it. You get what I'm saying? And I'm saying all that to say, you guys, never be afraid to, and Aaliyah told me this, we was talking, and I'll never forget she told me don't be afraid to start at negative 50 just to get to zero and when she said that basically it meant don't be afraid to go backwards in life just to reset at a balance you get what i'm saying just to reset to move on to greater and i'm saying that because even i had to come to terms with that you know what i'm saying like i'm trying so hard to get out the serving industry you guys and it has been tough because i've been applying for jobs i've been having interviews and everything hasn't aligned for me and so that's why i have been over but i get that everything hasn't aligned because i don't really have any what do you call it i don't really have nothing on my resume and child i ain't gonna say this on the internet <laughs> now that i'm saying i'm not gonna say this on the internet but proceeds to say it on the internet but you know i have some resumes have you picking up what i'm putting down you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, what else I'm going to do? You know? But if you're picking up what I'm putting down, then you're picking up what I'm putting down. And don't comment what I'm putting down. Just say I know what you're putting down. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, you guys, I do have resumes for certain things. But it's a lot. Well, I'm not going to say it's a lot that comes with that. But when the interview process can be kind of like tedious when you have resumes for certain things, but you're used to a different. Y'all get what I'm saying? 
<laughs> Baby, I didn't give it a dead giveaway. Anywho, I'm saying all that to say, you guys, I was at the moment, and I'm still at the point of, I'll go back to working in fast food. I'll go back to what it takes. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm the girl, I'm building my life right now. Y'all may think, oh, you know, she do YouTube, she got almost 10K, she get paid from it. You would think a person like me wouldn't say this like this, basically. Like, I don't mind going back to working at Wendy's. If y'all don't know, the Wendy's was one of the jobs I worked at. But <laughs> I wouldn't mind going back to working at Wendy's or going back to working at McDonald's, being in the drive through or being at HSM. Like, I wouldn't mind going back to that because if that's going to be a stepping stone and where I'm headed, so be it. God, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be okay with going backwards in life just to reset at zero to level up. You know? And a part of that process for me was moving out my luxury apartment. Like, I just don't want to be at the stage of living paycheck to paycheck anymore. I want to actually be that girl that, oh, you know, her crib okay, her car okay. But baby, sitting on stacks. You know what I'm saying? Really making memories, really doing what it is I want to do. And not saying that in this moment of my life, I'm not doing that. Because yes, I still am able to do extra things. But it's not on the level that I'm trying to do it on. It's not on the level that I'm trying to build it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to be that girl that look like she got it all but your debt sitting up to the ceiling but you design her down but your debt is sitting up here you get what i'm saying like that's just not me i'm not knocking nobody else you get what i'm saying but that's just me personally so child y'all got to this whole life story but that message that she sent me it really like affected me you get what i'm saying and i just wanted to get on here and have a talk with y'all just let y'all know that baby like kk life ain't all together either baby like i don't have it all together you know what i'm saying sometimes i financially be going through it right now is one of those financial holes that i'm in and not to put y'all in my business or nothing. I always say not to put y'all in my business because y'all write my business. <laughs> because I mean at the end of the day like I choose what I tell you guys and honestly if I'm telling you guys obviously it's something that I'm working through or that I'm over but it's nothing nobody can say that can well God forbid let me not say that but I feel comfortable enough to share that with you guys just to know and just to let you guys know that okay well Kaden did it or Kay's currently going through it or you know what I'm saying like don't think that Baby, everything is pieces of crap. You know what I'm saying? Because, baby, sometimes the picture don't be fitting the frame. Okay? Let's just start there. But, anywho, you guys, I hope y'all was able to take something from that. I didn't really get on here to give y'all, like, this whole advice story or nothing like that. But, I just want to get on here and remind you guys that it's okay to start over. It's okay for people to leave your life. If a person can accept the person that you're becoming, baby, they're not meant to be there. And I know it can be hard, especially if it's a child, especially if it's a mother, a brother, a sister, a cousin, an aunt, a grandma, a uncle, a friend, a best friend, a childhood friend. Because, man, them childhood friend heartbreaks hurt different. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have one. So I know it hurt different when you're used to somebody being in your corner and telling them your everything, baby. Make God that corner. First of all, God should have already been that corner. You get what I'm saying? That's something that I'm working on. Not running to people and running to God. But with me saying that, I just want y'all to know that there's nothing wrong with resetting and starting over and losing people and losing everything just to get your sanity back, just to get yourself back. Y'all know when y'all be seeing the post that be like, I'm cool with who I lose as long as I don't lose myself again. That's what I'm saying. Like, be willing to lose it all before you lose you again. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was just on my heart to tell y'all. I feel like somebody needs to hear that. Because nine times out of ten, every time I talk about something, somebody needs to hear it. Okay? But, yeah, comment a... I like telling y'all to comment sorry, stuff because I like to see some. Comment a thumbtack emoji. Comment that. We have my editor inside it. Okay? <laughs> But comment a red thumbtack emoji if what I said was helpful or you needed that or you agree. You know what I'm saying? And not to be like a pick me, but I just like to see where y'all be in my videos. You know, like where y'all, you know what I'm saying? But anywho, child, comment a red thumbtack emoji. Okay, <laughs> period. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> y'all, I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm just really grateful for like the beautiful things in life. Even though life may not fully be aligned the way that we want it to be aligned or everything may not be everything. I'm just still so grateful for the journey and the process and everything like that. You know, because the beauty is in the climb. It's beauty in the struggle for real. J. Cole told y'all that. <laughs> it's beauty in the struggle. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, y'all, well, I'm about to go because your girl got to go make some money. I'm about to go Uber. Okay, I'm about to go pick these folks up. Drop my baby. That's the nation. And yeah, I'm going to actually call some jobs back today that I've been needing to call, you guys. So, yeah. Toodles. I'll see.
see y'all later actually when I get done Ubering, which I don't know what time it's gonna be. It's probably be like 10 o'clock. Oh, I need to do my hair. Huh. Y'all see how my hair looking? My my curly girls now. <laughs> okay, natural girls, period. I, I gotta stop saying curly girls. Cause just cause y'all ain't curly don't mean you can't relate. Tell me you can't relate. Yeah, I'm just honestly gonna do my hair like this, put a scarf on it, and call it a day. Ain't gonna do nothing else to it. Just put a scarf on it. You know, I'm surprised all my pimple patches stayed on, you guys. Usually, I have some of my pimple patches that fell off. That fall off. Oh, they got me going to Frisco. I go to Frisco. Ooh, I go to Frisco. Anywho, cousins, I will chat later. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart beating fast. Let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass. Let a nigga know that he arrived. Sleeping on your level, cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, nigga. Yeah. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I'll be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying. So tell me, mama, please, why you be drinking all the time? Cause all the pain he brought you still linger in your mind. Cause pain still lingers on mine. On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find. The good news is, nigga, you came a long way. The bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way. Being broke is better. Life that's better than yours. What's up, y'all? It's the bad Bizzle in the motherfucking building. I just love back in the ass, but anywho, y'all. So, baby, I have gotten so much done. Like, your girl is on it. Okay, we on it, we on it, we on it. And I know y'all probably like, girl, we tired of seeing you in that same tired ass outfit. Okay? Because, baby, I got the same thing on I had on this morning when I talked to y'all. But I haven't talked to y'all since this morning. I got done Uber this morning, y'all. I came home, I took a nap. I got up around 12. I got home around 9 or 10. And I got up at 12. I told myself I wasn't going to get up to 1. But anywho, ended up getting up at 12. And I got a lot done, you guys. I pretty much got all my clothes packed. I just have some laundry that I need to wash. Which, I'm going to wash that when I get back to the house. Because I'm actually about to go, you guys. But, as y'all can see, I got all this packed up right here. And then this is just stuff that I'm probably going to be wearing. And just stuff to put on while, you know, I'm still in this apartment. And then I got, I got all these. Let y'all see. I got all that packed up down there so yeah and then the kitchen is literally still looking how the kitchen was looking you know there's no changes in the kitchen but i have packed up a lot in the bathroom so let me show y'all your girl got this little stuff on the counter but this is just like you know everyday stuff that i be using like skincare hair stuff and stuff like that but as y'all can see i got everything from up under here it's clean nothing's under there i think it's still yeah i still got like q-tips and stuff in here which i'm gonna put all this stuff in like a little ziploc bag and you know this like miscellaneous stuff but i got everything out of here so that drawer is empty this drawer is empty i think i still got some stuff in this one. Oh no this top drawer is empty i'm gonna get y'all don't worry about all the hair and stuff i'm gonna get like the little vacuum part and get all that stuff out before i leave and then this one's empty and i think the bottom one's empty also yeah so this full side is empty that one i just got one in there and then that's empty so i just got that stuff up there and then y'all know my bed is gonna be the last thing i take down also tv is gonna be the last thing i take down i'm trying to sell this so bad y'all like bruh so so I posted this table on Facebook Marketplace, y'all. And baby, nobody then swiped up. Like y'all not trying to negotiate the price. I mean, I did sell it for hundred dollars, but that's because I bought it for more than that. But I still would negotiate the price. Hell, I probably sell it for fifty dollars, twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Just, just you know, like negotiate with your girl. Which by the time y'all seen this, it may be gone. It may not. I don't know. But like I said, TV's gonna be the last thing I do, and the couch. And yeah, house just looking kind of crazy right now. But yeah, we getting it done. But anywho, y'all, I am about to get in the shower because my brother is in town. If y'all don't know, well, really all my brothers is in the military. But my youngest brother is in town before he gets ready to go off to Germany. So that's where he's going. Yeah, he's going off to Germany. So he's in town for two weeks before he's ready to leave, and he wanted to. Have 
have lunch with me and mama so we're gonna be going to go have lunch and yeah but we agreed to meet up at four y'all and it's already freaking 252 so i literally i'm working with an hour to you know get myself together so i'm about to go ahead and shower real quick i'm not really doing nothing much as far as like makeup or nothing i'm just about to wash my face shower and stuff like that and then i'm about to get ready to go so i'll probably see y'all if not tonight definitely tomorrow because tomorrow i'm gonna finish doing everything because i'm gonna go get the u-haul on sunday and i'm packing everything up on sunday like everything's gonna be packed up on sunday so tomorrow i gotta get everything done before i go to work so yeah and i am getting out uber in tonight that's what i'm saying i don't know if i'll see you guys tonight or not because i'm gonna get out around 10 and probably stay out to like 7 when I ate in the morning. So we'll chat later, okay? Mwah. Toodles! What's up, cousin? So, y'all, I know I look freaking crazy, but right now it is. Let me kind of give y'all an update on the time because I feel like I've been in my. <laughs> it's Sunday, August 18th, and your girl's actually about to head to the U Haul place. I just ordered me an Uber, so that should be pulling up any minute. But I'm about to head to the U Haul place so I can get me a U Haul truck, and we have to finish packing this house up so we can go ahead and start loading everything up. So, yeah, let's go get into it, okay? <laughs> so, y'all, we in our big body, okay? This is a smooth part a thousand at this point you know what i'm saying but yeah y'all we got boxes right here they had some free boxes in u-haul like baby what so yeah you girl ended up getting some free boxes that they had i needed a large and i needed like two small ones so i ended up getting that so oh we i'm hot but i am about to get ready to go in the house y'all this u-haul is huge which mind y'all i just went ahead and bit the bullet and got a really big u-haul because i didn't want to make multiple trips for one and i'm gonna have to get another u-haul because y'all know i don't move my apartment to the beginning of september but i have to be at this apartment by the 20th so you know yeah and it's just like ain't no sense in paying like day to day rent to like you know like that don't make sense anywho y'all i'm about to go ahead and start getting my teens out and taking them up and we're about to start packing but i think i want to go give me something to eat first so yeah i think i'm gonna go run and give me some golden chick because i am thirsty i'm hot I'm tired. Okay, let's start there. But this U-Haul is freaking huge, y'all. Let me show y'all what I was driving. Like, girl, your girl was pushing the big body. Let me show y'all. And one thing about it, KK can park. Okay. I don't care. No, 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 you ever heard of shutting the goddamn door. Y'all know that song. <laughs> okay, y'all, look at this junk. This junk is freaking huge. Look at her, baby. I KK has been pushing her. Okay, I don't really care about my apartment showing because, baby, by the time y'all seeing this, I probably won't be in this apartment no more. Well, not probably. I definitely won't be in this apartment no more by the time y'all seeing this. Yet. Who put this in here? Oh, this the thing that go over the thing so your so your truck don't get hot. <laughs> I'm like, baby, what is this? Oh, he gave me that new junk, y'all. I got that new U-Haul. Okay, look at my U-Haul. I got that new jet. That can't be the one that got the thing to put over the window. Who y'all know got the shade to put over the window? I got two boxes. Y'all, I'm going to come back and get that large box. I really got that. Of course, my phone just fell. But I really got that big box, y'all, so I can put, like, all my tennis shoes in it. But I got this big U-Haul because, which, y'all, this is the 20-inch. They had a 10-inch, which I knew wasn't going to work. Well, it was a 5x5, five five, I think. And then they had a 15-inch, which I was hesitant about. But I just got the 20-inch because I needed it. How you doing? Oh, no, no, no. A packing. Okay. Moving. <laughs> oh, he was so sweet. He was going to put my box in the dumpster for me, y'all. But I told him, baby, I'm using it to pack to move. I parked that junk so good, y'all. Like, look at this. What? Like, what? Who? I parked that junk so good, bruh. Anywho, y'all, I'm about to go give me something to eat. I really had a taste for a salad, but I wanted Chick fil A salad. I wanted a Cobb salad. And y'all know today is Sunday. Chick fil A not open, so that's not an option. Young on the one that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right out the curb. Bent this right front like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Crack up the four and I swear. Keep me a stick of big purge. Young on the one that they working my nerves. I'm about to pause the serve. Fucking this bitch like a perm. Smack from the back of a perm. Ice, the bird. Uh, Shitting on all you little turds. Can't take that dick with your turn. In my own learn, we can't merge. So in no hands, you can learn. Let's see how much you can earn. Why me go big like the worm? And I ain't smoking no shirt. I'm in the DP little QP, QP. I love my bitches, it's pretty. They showing their titties, it's up to the ceiling. I let her run through a million. I rock with her, really. Let's fuck on the beat. 
I'ma get down to the gritty, then fuck up the city, the home of the villains. SCC want to fulfill it. Smoke out the pound when I'm chillin'. Trappin', I make me a killer. Look, I got everybody wishing. I hope you play your position. I don't want nobody listening. I see the whole precision. Give us my only decision. Don't run no one that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right off the curb. Bend this right fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, don't keep my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Crack up the four and I swear. Keep me a stick if they curve. I'm in the dark, I'm in my drop top. Who's in the streets? In the streets, in the streets. I got a real pretty, pretty little thing that's waiting for me. What's up, cousins? What's happening? So, y'all, I know I talked to y'all earlier. Y'all been watching me, like, pack some stuff up and everything. I pretty much have the entire apartment excuses ring. Y'all know you have random stuff on and you know what I'm saying when you pack it. But I pretty much have everything packed up. I just had some boxes go down. They're getting put in the U-Haul right now. I'm about to take this box up. This box has shoes in it. I'm about to take these Yeezys or whatever, you know. I'm about to take them 10 shoes out. Take that box up. I need to take these boxes up that y'all see. Right here, I got y'all in this tripod, so that's why y'all can't see good. And then, as y'all know, y'all remember seeing this island was a mess. So, it's a lot more clear than what it was. I don't really have too much on here. Just boxes and, you know, just little stuff you know what i'm saying but yeah and then i got two boxes right here that i'm about to put over there to get taken down to the u-haul and then basically go ahead and just start packing pretty much everything up you guys so i'm trying to think i think the only thing that i'm gonna put in what the hell what is that in here? I don't know if I got it or not. I don't see it on my hand. Anywho, y'all, I think the only thing that I'm going to be putting in the U-Haul is just strictly boxes and like my couch and my bed and stuff. I think everything else that can fit in my car, I'm going to put it in my car. And then, you guys, I need to unpack. I mean, I need to pack up the laundry room, but I don't have any more boxes left over. I've used all the boxes, so I'm probably going to have to go get like two more boxes. And I cleaned the pantry out also, which I think y'all seen it. It ain't nothing in the pantry, bottom or top. But I am about to, once I I finish packing everything up tonight that's gonna be everything for tonight and then i'll just end up packing up what i can tomorrow i mean packing everything else up tomorrow tomorrow what i can packing everything else up tomorrow and then tonight's go or either early in the morning i'm gonna try to get the tvs down so yeah and then i for sure need to go get some more boxes because like i said i do need to finish packing up the laundry room so yeah i just wanted to come right here and give y'all a quick update but let me finish taping these boxes shall so rest of this stuff can go in baby y'all i almost forgot about my little paper towel holder Good morning, good morning, good morning, cousins. So, y'all, it is the next day. I actually woke up late. I was supposed to be up at 5.30, around 5.36 this morning, and it's like 7.50 something. So, your girl did end up waking up late. Y'all didn't get in the bed till like 12 because we was up figuring everything out so y'all i literally did the dumbest thing during this process but it's okay because your girl ended up figuring it out and now we about to pretty much well everything's pretty much resolved but now we about to make sure like oh y'all so much stuff on my camera top i'm trying to fit y'all up here but basically let me just tell y'all what happened so and i'm glad that i was told this last night because if i had done this and my stuff was gone i would have been pissed Oh, I would have been pissed. But basically, y'all, to make a long story short, of course, it's battery about to die. But to make a long story short, y'all, I didn't have my storage building yet yesterday. So I couldn't take my couch down or my bed down because I didn't want to leave it in a U-Haul overnight because it was already like enough with like somebody watching me low up my house, even though we did it at night. But it was already a lot with somebody watching me low up my house. And then on top of that, not only is somebody watching you load up your house, if they watch you load up, because my couch is fairly new. Y'all know I just bought this couch a few months ago when I moved into this apartment. So it ain't nothing that's like, you know, the couch is still, you know what I'm saying? So, and my bed. So if somebody watched us load that into that truck and we didn't move that truck, like go empty that stuff out, then people would have went in that truck and stole brand new furniture. Not saying it would have happened, but that could have been the outcome. You get what I'm saying? And me not thinking that girl, you don't have a storage yet. Just wait till you actually have the storage to go put the stuff in to put it in the car. You girl wouldn't think like that. And honestly, I'm glad that I was told that because it was honestly a learning lesson because I would have put all this stuff in that truck. I would have. So anywho, 
Let me kind of give y'all an update. So, all the boxes are gone. Y'all, all the boxes are in the truck, which is cool because they probably think it's like clothes or something, you know. If anybody was watching, they probably thought it was like clothes or, you know, just regular stuff. You know what I'm saying? But this is everything that's on the counter. It's like little last minute stuff that needs to be got up. I'm about to start a load of clothes before I go. And then seeing how the couch is, y'all, because it was supposed to go in the truck last night. I had somebody inquire about buying this coffee table, but they haven't responded yet. So, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this coffee table yet. I'm going to just have to, I don't know. Put it in my car and then i got my bed right here which i'm not gonna take the whole bed down y'all i'm just gonna take the headboard down that way i don't have to worry about trying to re-put my whole entire bed back together but what i will say you guys is i'm about to go in my car i'm gonna leave the u-haul here and i'm about to go in my car and go to u-haul to get a storage for one and then i need to get some more boxes because i was thinking about my tv and i was like well my tv gonna be in the storage i kind of wanted to be in something so so with my TV being in the storage, I'm going to go get two TV boxes. Because they had some up there yesterday. I didn't know they had none. I need a uh, mattress cover for my bed. And yeah, so those are going to be like, my bed and my couch is the main things that I'm worried about getting out right now. Just because I have to get have the U-Haul back to them by 4 p.m. today. So that's mainly what I need to get out. That's mainly what I need to fit in the truck. Because those are the things that can't fit in my car. Like if I can't get anything else out in time that'll be cool because everything else can fit in my car like all this little miscellaneous stuff can go in a box in my car you know what i'm saying and i can take it to the storage myself but my couch and my bed oh that has to come like right now so keys in my pocket let me find my phone so i can give y'all a time check Baby, I wasn't even on my phone this morning because I noticed I woke up late. Okay, so it's currently 8.04 because I know when I woke up, it was like 7.40 something, like 7.43. I took a quick shower, got in, got out. I'm about to give me some water out the fridge. And I'm starving. I want some breakfast so bad. Oh, y'all, let me tell y'all what happened to me yesterday. Let me tell y'all what happened because I just felt like telling y'all. If y'all was on the live, then y'all know. I'm going to walk downstairs with y'all because I don't really care about y'all seeing this apartment no more because by the time y'all seeing this, I won't be in here anymore, so. Oh, yeah, let me put this back. Take this battery out. Hold on, y'all. Let me do a couple things. Let me start a load of clothes. Take this battery out. Put it on the charger and put another battery in because it's about to die. And I want to die. Me telling the story. Okay, so I'll catch y'all in a second. Okay, y'all. So you guys in the car, and I wanted to tell y'all what happened. So, real quick, yesterday, y'all, I had went to Zaxby's because I wanted to sell it really, really bad. Mind y'all, if you was on my live, then you already know. So, I went to Zaxby's yesterday because, well, you don't know everything, but you know, like the start. But I went to Zaxby's yesterday because. I wanted a salad really bad, right? Yeah, I'm looking for some lip chip. My lips so dry. But yeah, I went to Zaxby's yesterday because I wanted a salad really bad. Before I even went to Zaxby's, I was like, oh, I wanted some avocado lime ranch with it because I already wanted Chick-fil-A. But mind y'all, yesterday was Sunday. So I couldn't have no Chick-fil-A because it was closed. So I had one to Zaxby's and mind y'all, Zaxby's already a little dry for me because it ain't no Zaxby's near me. The Zaxby's that's closest to me was 26 minutes away, right? So did I drive 30 minutes for a salad? I did just to get there and i had to wait to get the salad they pulled me up for like 10 minutes then i get the salad y'all i always check my food but i did not check my food this specific day because i was in a rush to get home because y'all know i got i'm packing like i'm moving so i'm in a rush to get home whatever because i only had to u-haul for a certain amount of time and child i get to the house just find out they didn't put bacon all over my salad like what yeah i didn't even eat the salad i tried calling these people like 10 times they did not answer the phone because my mom was on the salad so bad i was so frustrated because i didn't feel like going nowhere else to pick some of pick something else up to eat because i had already spent so much time going to go get zaxby so i'm like forget it and so i just tried to call them i called them like 10 times y'all they did not answer the phone so i had to call the hr corporate people and they said they was gonna give me a refund just be on the lookout for call during business hours which i know yesterday was sunday so it was probably call today monday which is monday and yeah which i was calling them to see if i could come back another day because y'all i be in the, i be on that side of town sometimes so i was calling them to be like hey can i come back another day and just get the salad replaced but y'all wouldn't even answer so if i had a came up there and someday next week y'all have been looking at me crazy you know what i'm saying that's why i had to call somebody that would answer my call and i just told them to just give me a refund because baby i just ain't have time yeah they i don't know when they gonna call but i mean salad was ten dollars so i'm not hurt about it you know being into my account today or nothing then. yeah i didn't like that so yeah that was that i didn't even end up eating the salad y'all and then on top of that i didn't go out and get anything else to eat and mind you i i didn't like i was eating i was snacking then i had ate like a popsicle or two which y'all know if you was on my live you already know i had two popsicles on the way <laughs> but i ate some popsicles when i got back because it was so hot so i just wanted some cold so child i was really like held over a little bit not gonna lie and then when it hit like 
11 o'clock. I'm hungry. Y'all know everything basically closed at 11. It was this kebab's place that was open, but I really just ain't have a taste for it. Not they food bad, but you just know when you specifically have a taste for something. So I just went to bed last night. I went to bed at like 12, so an hour after that. Yeah, but I'm really, I'm still craving a salad, bro. Like, that's the crazy part. So y'all know Chick-fil-A gonna be seeing me today. I definitely am going to have one of their cob salads. Because when I tell them, the difference between Chick-fil-A and Zaxby's, when I tell Chick-fil-A no bacon, they gonna make sure I ain't got no bacon. Okay, that's one thing about it. Chick fil A ain't gonna play with you. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to Chick fil A and get a salad, but y'all know I gotta wait because Chick fil A don't stop selling breakfast at 10 30. Which sometimes it's just like, why y'all stop selling breakfast at 10 30? Why is not noon? Like, breakfast don't end at 10 30 a.m. <laughs> it's a lot of places that do that. Stop serving breakfast at 10 30. Like, baby, that's not when breakfast ends. That's when most people, the average person, is probably getting breakfast at 10 30. Honestly, yeah, I don't really have so much else to say. But I will see y'all probably when I get to the U-Haul place or probably when I get back to the house and we're just getting more packing done. Because I'm packing everything. I got to pack everything else up today. Which is not much left that has to be packed up because y'all know I pretty much packed everything. The only hard thing is I'm trying to decipher where to put like most of my clothes and stuff. Like I can put them in the storage but because they're not going to be in the storage for that long. So I could definitely put them in the storage but also I don't know child. I could put them in the storage but then it's like I don't want to put up something that I need to wear and yeah, it's just a lot. Y'all, it's been a lot with this moving process. Like, I've been paying so many fees and just unexpected fees because, you know, like moving, you won't pay fees that you didn't expect to pay, you know. Like, I gotta go get a storage. The storage, of course, I think you gotta pay for it monthly, but y'all know I don't need the storage monthly because it's not gonna be in there a month, <laughs> you know. But, anywho, child. But it's okay. We're not gonna complain and we're not gonna think about it in that light. And we're just gonna think about, you know, it's a new journey we started. It's a new chapter that you girls entering. And you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna think about the cup half full, not half empty. Because, hey, cons gonna come with anything that you're doing. It's gonna be some pros, but it's also gonna be some cons. So it's like you can either focus on the pros that you're getting out this situation that you're in and you're able to build the way that you want to build or you can sit and think about these little v's you know so i gotta call my electric company too y'all because y'all know like because i have ambit so with ambit i don't remember if it was the same thing when i had txu i can't remember but with ambit you gotta have a thing for 12 months and then you can cancel or you know whatever but since I haven't been with them for 12 months, I'm just like, why is this 18 wheeler going this doggone fast? Like, bruh, come on, Kia, I need to get over. There's so much dust coming from this truck, bruh. And I just went and got my car washed, I already know that. Bruh, I don't even like speeding like that for real. Cause I hate for it to seem like I'm cutting a person off, but the 18 wheeler wouldn't even go in that fast. Then when I speed up, you want to speed up, bro. Like what? Like I don't even understand stuff like that, bro. I don't get that. Like that's the stuff that be having me like, why even do that? Like why do that? When you got all this stuff coming off your car. Now I got all this dust on my windshield. You know? But anywho, so y'all know I was telling y'all that I have Ambit, so you have to be with them for 12 months. But the only thing is I could transfer my bad, I'm being nosy, y'all. I could transfer my electric. I could transfer them to my new apartment, but I don't move into the first. You get what I'm saying? Which by the time y'all seeing this, y'all probably gonna be like, hey, it is first. But by the time I'm filming this, it's the 19th, so we got like 11 days. Oh, this girl texted me about the table. Y'all remember when I was telling y'all earlier somebody inquired about the table, but they didn't respond? Yes, it is, baby. Yes, it is. And then, I'm gonna have to call Ambit anyway, y'all, because my light bill be so high, bruh. My electric bill be so freaking high with them. I don't know why. When I was with TXU, my light bill was never this high. Like, why was my light bill just 160? I just paid my light bill today. And why was that just 160, bruh? Like, I don't... I don't get it. Like, I know in the summertime, you know, your stuff go up. But, babe, why? Why at that rate? But, I, you know what? I think it's my percent usage it's something like that i'm gonna call them though because i'm not gonna keep paying that high light bill if anything i just cancel y'all and go back to TXU. that's just what it had to be i'm not doing that high light bill that's what i'm not doing and that's what i mean when i say the unexpected fees but you know it is what it is shy it's life you know we gotta roll with the punches and just keep rolling just keep rolling but anywho y'all i am headed to u-haul so i will just see y'all either when i get to the u-haul place oh that sun is blowing me Yes, so I will see y'all when I get to the U-Haul place or probably when I get back to the house, okay?
progress that we made so far i pretty much have everything huh it was me. me and you me and the biggest okay God. we are taking out these screws in the bed and then oh my head itch. it's crazy because y'all didn't even see me put this bed together but it's okay because y'all get the opportunity to see it when your girl move yeah because she know how to do it by herself now you take well that's awesome My cousins, you want to be on the vlog? What it do? You want to say hey to my cousins? What's going on, cuz? Period. All right, cuz. Okay. She getting her move on. Yeah, we getting our move on. We getting our groove on, y'all. Best customer service I've ever had. Okay, y'all gotta come to the U Haul in Carrollton. Okay. No. Period. Yeah. Best service I didn't ever had, like oh, for real, for real. <laughs> y'all, so this is what we got so far, but I didn't got, we didn't got all the boxes. So here go all the boxes. Now you girl about to load them up. We got to put them in the storage. And I gotta wait for my help to get back. Cause baby, I can't do all this by myself. Oh, not I, mm-mm. Not that girl. Baby, I'm so tired. Okay, I got my storage. We about to unlock this junk and get the moving stuff in. You did not need it. I'm so freaking hot and tired, girl. It is a new day. Y'all seen me yesterday when your girl was putting everything in the storage. Baby, it was a process. So, y'all know, well, y'all don't know this, so let me update y'all. Put everything in the storage yesterday, y'all. Ended up getting home. Still ended up packing more stuff up. Now, I had took, I think, I don't know if I took one or two more runs, but I had took like one or two more runs after I had already finished moving the big stuff in my storage. So I had more stuff at the house because I think I was telling y'all that I had more stuff at the house. But I started taking more stuff and y'all was like 9.30, I was taking a load. Baby, I got locked out. Yeah, your girl got locked out because they had gave me a code to put in, but the code I kept putting in kept saying access denied. So I'm gonna just only go and take my stuff up there like during business hours and stuff. Cause I think after like, after nine, it locks you out. After 9 p.m. it locks you out. From nine to, 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. you're locked out. So any other time after that, you can get in. So I'm gonna just go during the hours. Cause baby, I'm not gonna have the storage for that long. So it ain't no problem that I just, you know, am hurting for or just need to resolve. So yeah, that's that. But it is the next day, y'all. I got up this morning. I took me a good little shower, did my hair, you know, kind of trying to look like something today. And we about to go get some breakfast first of all because I'm starving. And then I already got my truck packed up because y'all know I couldn't get into the storage last night. So I had to leave just some of my truck because I, I sure was going to take it back out. So it's still in my truck. So we're going to go drop that off. And then I got some more stuff. Let me show y'all. I got some more stuff that I need to pack up. So this little cart is full. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to take my luggage and my little duffel bag. And I'm going to put that in the storage also. So yeah, but I don't have any room in my truck. So once I go drop this load off, well, I'm going to go eat. Then I'm going to drop that load off. Then I'm going to come back and get the rest of this. And I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to try to get everything done today. Y'all know I still have my TVs on the wall. 
Cause baby, I just didn't have the energy to try to get them down. So that's that. And then pretty much was on the island. I'm gonna get off at the last minute. Cause baby, it's just miscellaneous stuff, you know? So that's the update y'all. Oh yeah, and then I need to proof watch this video because I need to drop a vlog for y'all. Like what? And y'all know I'm alive, period. Period, 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 period. But yeah, I will holler at y'all a little later, probably when I'm moving this stuff that's in my trunk in. Okay. Y'all, look at my trunk. I mean, look at my car. Oh, that's stuff back there. Look at that. All oh, that stuff back there. Y'all know where them pillows come from. I got so much stuff back there, bro. Couldn't get none of it in. Nothing, you My seat's down. KK. Let me get the number one meal and let me get it with the yogurt parfait. Thank you. How much? Thank you so much. Thank you. You also. I am outside in an AMG. Right outside. TT. Two turn, baby girl. You know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas around me, cry that it die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Who am I? All the niggas around me, cry that it die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. I just caught a shorty off a of fence, Just the one on hoodie, it's a print shop. Way that I've been living unconventional. I'm just. Good morning, good morning, good morning, cousins. Y'all, it is currently, I wanna say it's like almost 5 a.m. Yes, it is 4.51 a.m. as y'all can see. And I did wanna get on here and not only update y'all, but close this vlog out. So y'all, basically everything is down and done out of this apartment. I'm so excited for this new journey, y'all. I'm so excited for y'all to come with me on this new journey. Like, I'm so freaking excited. And baby, if you're new here, and this is your first time seeing your girl face, then baby, you might wanna subscribe because you're gonna love it here. You gonna love it here, okay? Y'all, there's nothing else left in this apartment. My TVs got took it down last night, as y'all seen. The little bracket things that go over my mounts are over here. Y'all know I have been trying to get rid of this coffee table. I posted it, no one ain't bought it yet, so I'm just put it in my storage for right now. And if push come to show, I mean, I'll just give it away, honestly. I wasn't looking to get no money out of it because I really, at this point, I just want to get home for real. <laughs> but I want somebody to come and pick it up because I'm not trying to, like, ship it just because the table is acrylic, like, it's, it's glass. You know what I'm saying? Like, this part, it's crazy because this part looks black, but it's bronze, and but it really looks black for real. Like, if you compare it to my shoe, let me see. I don't know if y'all could tell, but I could tell it's bronze. You could tell in person. But, yeah, so. And then these parts are glass, so I I'm really not trying to ship it. And I mean, a push come to shove and don't nobody get it. I just put it in my new place until I replace it. Don't nobody pick up because I'm for sure not shipping it. So don't even ask your girl to ship it because I'm not shipping it. You would definitely have to come and pick it up. So yeah, that's that. But TV is off the wall in the living room and TV is also off the wall in the bedroom. Okay, that just sitting on the floor. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to take this TV in my car because it's gonna fit and then this one is not gonna go in my car but they're gonna really go to the storage. So yeah, the only thing I have left to do y'all is really just clean in my house. I did leave like some bags of clothes, like little stuff that I'm probably gonna be wearing just until I get moved and everything. Yeah, that's pretty much it y'all. All I have left to do is clean the house up which I'ma clean that up probably shortly if i don't start doing it right now i'll probably start doing it soon which i probably will start doing it right now because i gotta make these voiceovers and stuff so i'll probably work on that and work on cleaning the house and then i'll just have my editor insert some videos of the house being clean like you know how i cleaned it i ain't doing too much now because all my cleaning products put up so all i can really do is mostly do stuff to the floors like sweep my well i'm not mopping but sweep and like vacuum stuff out and stuff like that and just show y'all once everything is gone but you know I don't know. I may not have her. 
I don't know, I may not have her insert that just because of the fact that this video is most likely gonna be up by the time I move out of this apartment because at this point, y'all, I'm not sure if I'm moving out of this apartment before the first or if I'm moving out around the first to move in, to move straight into my new apartment, you know? So just depending on how that whole process go, I'll kind of keep y'all updated with everything. With all that being said, I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much and I hope y'all enjoy moving vlog episode one, moving series episode one, moving out of our luxury apartment. I hope y'all enjoy, but yeah, I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. And you already know until the next vloggy, your favorite cousin, baby, the biggest, the big one, she's out the cut, okay? Mwah. Toodles. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go there. Say I'm acting light skin. I can't take you nowhere.